What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Coralview Hydros Wave Engine version 2. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Coralview Hydros Wave Engine version 2. We are going to be unboxing, setting this up on my Waterbox Refill X. And with setting up, I also ordered some new Octopulse 4. We'll also be getting those up and installed and running on my water box too. And then I also got some XF330s that we'll be putting on my water box as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the star of today's show. So inside the box, we get some bubble wrap. We get... A power supply we also get the wave engine 2 so these are going to be your command bus ports these will be the ports that we are going to use when we hook up our uh, pumps and then this will be the power supply that we use to power those pumps let's start onboarding the hydros wave engine version 2 the only thing I have done is connected the power supply to this I'm going to go ahead and get the Hydras app opened. On the Hydras app, I am going to select my hamburger menu. I'm going to select the plus icon. In the configure new Hydras devices menu option, we see the new Wave Engine version 2. So I'm going to go ahead and select that to add it. We are going to put this on my Hydras network on channel 11. I'm going to give this a name of Waterbox Wave Engine. Now it's going to go through the process of installing the root certificate and device certificate. Alright, registration successful. Now if I go back to my menu, I see my collective for my 40 gallon frag tank. And then I also see the Wave Engine version 2. Alright, we have firmware updates available. We're going to say show updates. And we are going to select download and go ahead and get the firmware updated. Alright, it has downloaded the new firmware version. So we're going to go ahead and select install. All right, we are running the new version. I've got some new wave pumps and things like that I need to get installed on the water box upstairs. So once I get all that ran and hooked up, I'll pick up and we'll work on getting this configured in the Hydrosat. All right, the installation of the new pumps are done. I mounted one of the Octopulse 4 right here. I've got the gyre pumps, one mounted to the back of each side of the aquarium, and then I've mounted the other Octopulse 4 right here. Here is a closer look at the magnet for the Octopulse 4. Unfortunately for me, my tank uses uh, 3 quarter inch glass. I did test these magnets. Um, these magnets are only rated for up to uh, 5 eighths inch glass. It did grab and hold the Octopulse 4 on my water box, but it barely held it. So I found a post on Reef to Reef where somebody used a third party magnet. I 3D printed a case for it. So this is what I'm going to be using to mount the Octopulse to my aquarium. And I'll be using this as the dry side magnet. And this is a view of the 3D printed magnet that I made to mount this to the three quarter inch glass. All right, let's begin setting up the gyre pumps in the Hydrosat. I'm gonna open up the Hydrosat. I am going to select my wave engine. I'm gonna to go to status. We can see the status of my wave engine. I'm gonna select add an output. I'm going to call this gyre right. Say create. Wants to know the type of output we're adding. We're gonna select flow pump. For the pump model, gyre 130, 230, and 330. Based on testing with this already, I need to select invert rotation. I'm going to leave everything else select at its default. This one is connected to drive output one. And we'll select upload changes. Now we need to add the gyre on the left side. So we're gonna add another output. I'm gonna call this gyre left, say create. We'll select the output type as flow pump. Again, based on testing, I know I need to invert the rotation. Leave all this at the default. We'll select upload changes. 
Now to make all of this work together, we're going to select schedules. We're going to add a schedule. I'm going to call this gyre dash schedule. We'll say create. I'm going to have this be random. We want to add two pumps. So we've got pump one as gyre right. We've got pump two as gyre left. It wants to know the position. I'm going to put this on the back because these are on the back of my aquarium. Just to run every one day on and run on days and leave all seven days selected. And we'll say upload changes. And now we can see that the gyre flow pumps have kicked on. That was the right side. And here is the left side. All right, let's begin adding the Octopulse fours into the Hydra app. So from the status screen, I'm going to select Add Output. We're going to call this Octo P4 Dash Right. To create, it wants to know the type of output it's going to be. We're going to select Flow Pump, Flow Pump Model. We're going to select Octopulse Four. This is on Output Drive Three. Everything else looks good. We'll accept the default, so we'll select Upload Changes. We'll hit our back arrow, select Output, add a new output. We'll call this Octo P4 Dash Left. Say Create. Output type is going to be Flow Pump. Select Octo Pulse 4 for the pump model, and we'll leave this at the defaults. Upload changes. We'll come to schedules. Create a new schedule. Hit the plus sign. I'm going to call this Octo Pulse Dash Schedule. I want this to run around 20%. Now these settings I probably will need to come back and tweak, but I can do that later on. For the pattern, I'm going to select Ocean Swell. We want to pumps. We want this to be on Octo P4 right. I'm going to say on the right side. We want this to be Octo P left. And we're going to say on the left side. We want this to run every in one day and we'll let, we'll keep the seven day selected and we'll say upload changes. Go back to the status screen and it looks like they should be running now. So let's take a quick look. That one is on. And this one on this side is running as well. Now with setting up and adding the wave engine to my water box reef, I have gone through and made a couple of changes. Instead of having this pump way down at the bottom, I ended up moving it up. And then I also adjusted the flow up here as well because I was having sand blow around in the aquarium too. I am still making a few adjustments like down here in this corner. This is due to the XF330 that's back here. In, uh, but as with any new setup there are going to be changes and tweaks that you'll need to do to optimize the results for your aquarium. But overall, it has been a really decent upgrade for my system. And I hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always available on Discord. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. And until the next one, guys, I'm out. Peace.